Welcome to the training presentation on how to sell appliances using the new South African Energy Efficiency Label. This training video has been developed by the Department of Energy and made possible with our partners, the Department of Trade and Industry, the Global Environment Facility and the UNDP. All South African retailers are advised that from 2016, sales consultants selling household appliances on the shop floor need to be able to explain to customers how to use the energy efficiency label when making a purchasing decision. This presentation aims to give some background about the South African energy efficiency label and unpacks the label ABC selling method to use in stores. Let's start with some background information on why the South African Energy Efficiency Label has been introduced. Until now, South Africa has been a target for a range of substandard energy inefficient appliances which have been manufactured and imported into our market and without clear energy performance standards, this trend was set to continue. These appliances, which may have been cheaper to buy initially, are actually costing consumers more to run are sapping electricity from the grid and creating more greenhouse gas emissions when our aim as a country is to be reducing them. In 2010, the Department of Energy, with assistance from the Global Environmental Facility and the United Nations Development Program, embarked on a program to introduce a minimum energy performance standard, also known as MEPS, to a range of household appliances in South Africa. Working with manufacturers and distributors over the past few years, the South African government through the Department of Trade and Industry has put in place new legislation for energy efficiency for 12 of the most used appliances on our grid. The 12 appliances are audio and video equipment, electric lamps, washer-dryer combinations, washing machines, tumble dryers, electric geysers, electric ovens, fridge-freezer combinations, standalone freezers, standalone fridges, dishwashers, and finally, air conditioners. The date for compliance to the minimum energy performance standard is noted here. In terms of legislation, every appliance in these 12 types must be tested by an independent accredited laboratory to prove that it meets the minimum energy performance standard, MEPS. Testing can be done by independent accredited facilities internationally and locally by the SABS and Test Africa. Only once energy efficiency can be proved can appliances receive a letter of authority or LOA to allow them to be sold in South Africa. LOAs are granted by the National Regulator for Compulsory Specifications. Appliances which do not meet the MEPS can no longer be sold in South Africa. Non-compliant appliances in the market can be reported to the NRCS on 0800-214-719. The National Regulator for Compulsory Specifications undertakes spot checks nationally to check on appliance LOAs in warehouses, ports and retail outlets and will confiscate, remove or destroy non-compliant appliances in the market. Once appliances have proven that they meet the minimum standard and have a LOA, they can then use the energy efficiency label. The new label with the energy efficiency logo on top, was first developed in 2015 and was finally designed and revealed to the public in May 2016. Going forward, all appliance manufacturers and distributors are required to use the SA Energy Efficiency label. Each appliance type has a slightly different label, but not all appliances which are under the new law are required to have them. By law, most appliances must include a physical label either displayed on the product or in the packaging and in the user manual. The information provided on each label informs the consumer of the energy efficiency rating of each appliance as independently tested by the manufacturer. Audiovisual TV equipment does not have a label. In order to be sold in South Africa, all audiovisual equipment must have a standby power usage of less than 1 watt, and this is the minimum standard. Electrical lamps have the option to display a label but still need to meet the various performance standards stipulated in order to be sold in the South African market. 
All labels have seven horizontal color-coded bars, ranging vertically from dark green on top to dark red at the bottom. Dark green being the most energy efficient class and dark red being the least efficient energy class. Each color bar represents an energy consumption threshold, also known as the Energy Efficiency Index, EEI. As an example, the energy class A for a washing machine has an EEI threshold of greater or equal to 59 and less than 68. Many manufacturers today are producing appliances which are super efficient and perform way above the minimum standard. They will be rated towards the top green bars. The actual energy efficiency class of each appliance, which is confirmed by independent test facilities, is indicated by a white letter on a short black coded bar in the column, extending from right to left. The most energy efficient appliances will thus have an energy class corresponding with the dark green energy efficiency bar. Depending on the minimum energy performance standard set for each appliance, the energy grades will vary from A++ to D, A++ to E, A++ to F, and A to G. This range is consistent with the label's seven color codes. For some appliances, the label will also have non-energy data, such as water consumption and appliance noise level. Apart from the rating, the label also shows the appliance's average energy consumption. This is reported in either kilowatts per hour, KWH, or kilowatt hours per annum or year, or kilowatts per cycle of wash or use. The energy performance of appliances which are normally operational throughout the year, such as refrigerators and geysers, are shown as kilowatts per year. For appliances that are used as and when necessary, such as washing machines and dishwashers, energy consumption is expressed in kilowatts per hour per cycle. For electrical storage water heaters, efficiency is determined by standing loss in watts. For lamps, efficiency is determined by input power or watts to light output, or lumen. So, that's the label. But how can you use it to boost energy efficient appliance sales? First, it's important that retailers ensure that all appliances on the shop floor have a LOA. Retailers check that all appliances on display have a visible energy label for customers to see, and retailers ensure that customers are informed about the energy label. To make it easy, we have developed an ABC approach to selling energy efficient appliances using the new energy efficiency label. The A stands for all appliances. The B stands for benefits of energy efficiency. The C stands for customer choice. Let's start with the first sales message. A, which stands for all appliances. So that's your first sales message to customers in the ABC approach. All appliances in the 12 categories are energy efficient and meet the minimum requirements for the country. So no matter what you buy, now it will be better than before. How does the customer know if the appliance is in fact compliant? Well, for the majority of appliances, you will see it has an SA Energy Efficient label. You can also check the manual for energy consumption information. As a salesperson, it will be important for you to check that the SA Energy label is visible on all your displayed appliances from now on. This is a legal requirement as well as being a sales tool to assist customers to buy more efficiently. The next way to sell is to be sure to mention the benefits of buying more energy efficient appliances. Each customer is different and there are three ways to assist them through a sale using the three benefits of energy efficiency. The first obvious benefit is that the customer will save money. Keep an electricity bill handy for this one. Using the energy label, you can actually show how much it costs to run an appliance and therefore the potential to save money by buying a more efficient appliance. Every electricity bill makes reference to the cost per kilowatt hour that the customer is paying for electricity. With a calculator, you can quickly work out what a fridge costs to run for a year or a washing machine for a cycle.
ESCOM also has an online calculator available, which will make quick work of such calculations if you have internet access or a tablet on the sales floor. www.escom.co.za Use the label to encourage customers to make a choice. It is effective to show the difference in running costs between makes and models on the floor to help the consumer make a decision about what model to buy. Helping customers understand the true cost of using each appliance will go a long way to helping the customer purchase the most efficient product. Sales consultants can also use the label to upsell customers to a better, more efficient model, even though the more energy efficient appliances may be more expensive. When the running costs are calculated, the cost of the more expensive appliance becomes less of a barrier for the customer to overcome to make the decision to purchase. Consider using the label to on-sell when assisting the customer to purchase the better appliance. It also helps the customer to consider the costs of running other appliances in their homes and to do an appliance check at home. Ask them if it makes sense to plan to replace other old outdated appliances to bring down their overall electricity costs. The second benefit to talk about with customers is saving energy. Just by buying an energy efficient appliance, they will save energy, but how they use the appliance could save them even more. So, inform your customer that buying an energy efficient washing machine, but constantly using the hottest and longest wash, will not save energy. That buying an energy-efficient fridge but opening and closing the doors too often or putting in hot or warm food will not save energy. That investing in an energy-efficient air conditioner but running it all day at the lowest or highest temperature even when they are not in the room will not save energy. That buying that energy-efficient lamp but not using a CFL light bulb will not save energy. So the second benefit is in the customer's hands to maximize. The third benefit is the customer being part of saving the environment. More and more customers are making buying decisions with a green conscience. It is important to many customers that they buy environmentally friendly and sustainable consumer goods. Customers should know that just by introducing the new minimum energy performance standard, the government has directly contributed to achieving the greenhouse gas reduction targets for the country. This is a very good thing. And as the customer, they have the power to buy more efficient appliances and use them more efficiently to boost this reduction further. That as the customer, they should not donate their old appliance, particularly older than a 2000 model, as they are actually harming the environment. And should rather contact their local e-waste depot to arrange for the disposal of old energy guzzling appliances. It's also important to make sure you are not contributing to this problem as a retailer. The third sales message for the SA Energy label is about choice. Whatever they choose will be more efficient than their old appliance, and every customer has their own criteria to consider. As time goes on, there will be more and more choice as manufacturers locally and globally are rising to the challenge of saving energy. There is a choice to buy more efficiently. There is a choice to use appliances more efficiently. There is a choice to decide to be lighter on the planet. Remember, it's really very simple. A is for all appliances which are now energy efficient. B is for the three benefits which are save money, save energy and save the environment. C is for choice. Encourage the customer to make the best choice for their needs and lifestyle. For more info, go to www.energy.gov.za. Share your sales experiences and tips on the SA Energy Efficiency Label Facebook page and on Twitter at SA underscore Energy underscore Label. Happy selling!